wrapping us up day two is about to close and first of all i want to thank each and every one of you for attending uh, we've had some great information uh, provided these last two days on the reality of today's high potency marijuana and its impacts on public health and public safety i think there's no disputing the fact that the emerging research is compelling as to the harms that we are seeing yet public health and public safety policy surrounding today's high potency thc continues to be made with total disregard to the emerging research and data that we're seeing. This has to stop. We are at a point now that we have enough research that science can catch up to the myths that, that we're hearing about today's high potency THC. And along those lines, I've got some great news for you folks. The, the 2025 Marijuana Opiate Summit will be back into an in-person event here in San Diego in November of 2025. So mark your calendars to come to San Diego. We've had some absolutely fabulous weather these last two days in San Diego. Not so much today, it's raining, but I'm laughing at these folks in Southern California that don't really know what rain is and are happy to see it. But uh, mark your calendars, November 2025, 20, an in-person event here in San Diego. We're excited about that. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge a few folks here before we close. And the first person I want to acknowledge and express a debt of gratitude to is somebody you haven't seen, but without him, this would not be possible. And that's Paul O'Rourke with NHAC. Uh, Paul does an amazing job of organizing, coordinating, facilitating, whether it's an in-person meeting and or a virtual meeting as the last uh, two summits have been. So Paul, uh, kudos to you. Thank you so very much for what you do. And uh, we couldn't do it without you. Uh, the Marijuana Prevention Initiative at, at, in Joe at uh, San Diego, thank you. Uh, Dave King, the, the director of the San Diego Imperial Valley Haida and his staff here, are remarkable people that are dedicated to getting the message out and sharing the data. And again, I've got to thank the fellow to my left, uh, Dale Quigley, uh, who has uh, been outstanding at uh, a partner in crime with me and excited uh, to see what, what we have in store moving forward. And again, lastly, all of our presenters that, that agreed to participate here that have provided some phenomenal information for you. But I want to leave you with a couple of, of closing comments. I say, you know, we've got almost 3,000 people registered for the opioid panel that's coming up tomorrow and Friday. And I, you know, it's, it's really impressive. And, you know, when you think about where we are with substance use disorder in this country, you know, unfortunately we're gonna lose over 110,000 Americans again this year to overdose deaths. And that's totally unacceptable. But I, I can assure you 45 years in law enforcement, that we're never gonna get a handle on our substance use disorder problem in this country until we start having honest discussions about marijuana's role in substance use disorder. And to do that is what's gonna be critical. So I, I'm a little disappointed that we only had 300 people register for this, but I can assure you that if we don't start having honest discussions about this drug's role in substance use disorder in this country, there'll be 5,000 people show up in 25 for the opioid summit. So lastly, I wanna leave you with a little comment, a little quote from Booker T. Washington. And he basically said, a lie doesn't become truth, wrong doesn't become right, and evil doesn't become good just because it is accepted by the majority. Think about that. And I'll lastly leave you with what Dale started this summit with. He said, if you learn something new during these last two days, share it. If you hear misconceptions, correct them. But most importantly, do something with the knowledge and the information that you've learned these past two days, because to do nothing is not acceptable. So again, thank you all for your attendance. This recording will be available on the NMI website shortly. I can't thank you all enough for attending and hats off to all our presenters for a phenomenal two day summit. So have, enjoy the rest of your evening or day or wherever you have to be. And hopefully if you're signed up for the opioid summit, it, it will be a successful summit just as this one was. So goodbye to all of you and we'll see you all in 25.